Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, so this can resonate for you, past, present, or future. It does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon rising and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Oh, okay. All right. Keep an open mind, Aries. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Ooh, are you meeting somebody? Okay, this is gonna say, okay, I like it. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I like this. I, I feel like it's been a while since we've had like a new love reading for you guys. So let's see where this is going for the collective. What is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who is this person? What is the situation? What can you expect here? What do you need to know, Aries? Okay, I'm, I'm getting like a huge smile for you guys. Could be an air sign. Okay, they could be coming in kind of quick. Ooh, unexpected. Okay, they like you. Oh, they really like you. Um, mm, I mean, there could be a big age difference here. That could be, I mean, that could make some of you a little nervous. But... I don't, I get, I'm getting like good feelings about it though. Okay. And. Okay, they're, okay. I think this person, they want you to take a chance on them. I think you're meeting this person online and they're like very immediately, I mean, some of you might meet them on like a dating profile, like through a friend or something, something like that, or they're somehow, somehow getting introduced on, like through the internet online and they really want to see you. They really want you to hear them out, to, you know, be open to this. They're kind of nervous. They're feeling like you're playing hard to get or something and it's making them feel like, okay, I really hope that, you know, Aries is really interested, maybe just, you know, taking their time. But I think they're starting to sweat and starting to worry. They like you. Now, I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I do feel like there is like a past energy that kind of lingers around in your readings. But I think that you're kind of over the past, kind of done with it, and really cut that off. Just, mm -mm, no. Um, now, definitely very strong Scorpio, Aries energy here. You know, I just feel like you were not and wait, just looking for love. I think it just kind of happened kind of suddenly out of nowhere. You didn't really expect to have feelings for someone. Um, I mean, you also have earth energy here and, and water too. We have, a little bit, we have a little bit of everything, to be honest with you, but very prominently Scorpio. Um, I feel like their communication is just really good with this person. And some of you, I don't know why I'm kind of getting, like you were giving them the cold shoulder, or kind of playing hard to get. And I don't think you're intentionally, you know, dragging this person around or teasing them. But I do feel like you're a little bit guarded, a little bit cautious with them, you know, not really jumping straight in, into it, you know, just kind of taking your time and, you know, communicating with them. But you're really finding how surprised you're connecting with them and how much you're enjoying the conversation. And I think that you really didn't expect it. I do feel that this is a very attractive person, but I think that it just kind of surprises you because they're not like your usual type or the normal type that you would go for. Like maybe some of you are more into like tall people or something and this person's on like the average short side or something or vice versa or maybe you typically go to like very lean people and this person's very muscular or very curvy or something I don't think it's 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 an unattraction thing I think that it's or a non-attraction thing I think that it is just surprising you know and I think that there's very intense physical energy between you and this person but it's really like I don't know. This is so This is very interesting because it's kind of like, I'm not going to say that there was no attraction, but what I think is, is that you were just mostly guarded. And so like you were not, you know, really, you know, getting too close into the physical stuff with this person. But it's like, as you've gotten to know them, as you begin to fall for them and develop those emotions, the physical attraction has become that much more intense and that much more prominent in your relationship. And now it's like you can't stop thinking about each other. I think for them, it's like immediate attraction, though. I think they were, like, all about you, pursuing you, coming in hot. Like, they were like, yes, this is it. This is what I want. Um, 
And like I say, it's it's explosive. And with you and this person, this is a very phallic energy, the tower. I mean, this, there's a lot of physical energy. Like a bolt of lightning, you weren't anticipating it, you didn't know where it was going to strike, but man, it's definitely, it's very apparent that it's here, right? And I think that you do see something with this person, but you also want to kind of take your time. Because, you know, you have been hurt in the past, you don't want to kind of keep repeating that. And anybody that you're going to consider building a life with, you're going to want to know that they're going to be patient and understanding, and they're not going to try to rush you. And I feel like this person will definitely do that. I think that you feel this person is very open with their emotions. I think that you're you're definitely you definitely like them. They're they have a sensitive side. They can be very strong, but they have a very sensitive, very sweet, very reassuring side to them. And I think you really like that um, validation from them that they're feeling a certain way or they're thinking a certain way or they're very sweet. Like this is somebody who's not going to have a problem telling you, "I wish I could hug you right now," or you know, "I'm really missing you." You know, this is really it's a very sweet individual. I feel like. And very confident in themselves. And I think that's, like I said, very refreshing. They're saying it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to open your heart to this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, in the Three of Coins, we see him, like, working up here, working on the Judgment card. So I think he, you know, this person does want to kind of really be, I think they've already kind of opened up to you emotionally but I do want to do that more you know whether you've met them yet or not this person definitely wants to kind of come in express more be very direct about what they want you know and what they expect what they hope for out of this relationship I think they will be very patient though like if you say you know I do really like you too but I don't want to rush things they'll be understanding of that but they definitely want to know that they're not wasting their time I think they are very worried I think they're beginning to kind of sweat it a little bit more and begin to overthink and fear that maybe you're not interested or that you know they're just getting they're getting nervous this person I think they're very family oriented very hard working very resourceful and I think that they definitely see a future with you now so there could be a bit of an age difference here that could be part of the concern that either of you have maybe that's it maybe you didn't really expect to be with somebody who's you know five years older ten years older twenty years older right I think this person definitely is very ready for commitment. Now, I don't think they're going to rush you, but this person, they definitely know they want to get married and have a family, have, you know, um, build a life with someone. They're very sure of what they want. And that's why they're willing to be patient here and wait. And I feel that's what they're going to be doing. They already really like you. Um, it feels like, like I, they've been waiting for, to connect with someone like you. But they're just kind of worried they're going to be wasting their time. That's it. And I don't think that you've done anything to, wrong here. But I think this person is just looking for more reassurance too. Like they're afraid of getting getting their heart hurt or, you know, being disappointed if, you, if you're not willing to pursue it with them. They're looking for more clues or more of a sign that you are going to eventually be ready to have a relationship so let's see messages guidance messages in regards to love was there anything else I put in okay no they're saying look at this Please don't give up on us. So they don't want you to, you know, give up hope in this situation. They don't want you to back off. Like, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like you're doing that intentionally. But I feel like you just want to take your time. You're not you're not in any kind of rush. You know, good things take time. If this person's a long-term person, they won't mind waiting, right? That's the kind of thing that I feel like. Um, I close my eyes and I imagine you're here with me. Sweet. Okay. Your love is healing the broken parts of me. And I think that that can even be mutual for both of you. Like, maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's why this person really just wants more reassurance. Because they've been disappointed in the past. And I think that... For you, it's like... You're still healing. You know, even if you don't want anything to do with your past situations... It's like you're still healing. You're not in any kind of rush to put yourself out there, you know, or get hurt again. But I think that you can both actually relate in that same way. They're saying our story isn't over yet. 
So again, they're, they're not wanting you to give up. They want they want this to go all the way. They definitely want to see they see a future with you. You have ignited my soul. I feel like there's even something about an awakening here. Boy, goodness gracious, this will focus in. There we go. So obviously a really intense uh, connection between you and this person. And then no matter how far I try to run, I still fill you with me. And I think this one's partially for you as well. It's like, even when you guys are like not physically together, whether they're running or not, I think that you still feel connected to this person. It's like kind of surprising for you both. Um, I honestly think for this person, they weren't necessarily expecting to kind of have feelings or be attracted to anyone, but either, because I feel like they may have dealt with a bad past situation. So you both kind of understand each other on a level that some people cannot. I think you're connecting online they're like wanting to see you wanting to spend time with you like waiting for that definitely d definitely a lot of intense feelings developing here you both can have strong water in your chart cancer scorpio pisces you don't have to but um i think you're a perfect fit for each other i think you're just so simple you, you understand each other that's why this person's so patient and whether they want to work on hold on to this relationship they're very attractive to you too it, it seems like they're just almost like they can't believe that you're real or that you'd be interested in them. And I don't I don't think this person's unattractive. I just think they're not like you're the initial type that you would go for or something like that. But I think that, like I said, it's more about the emotional connection. And like the more you get to know them, the more you fall in love with them, the more attractive they become. And it's like you think about them a lot. That's why it's like I don't want to I don't want to fall this hard in, in love and then get disappointed. But I think, you know. There's going to be some opportunities here to kind of give it to them more reassurance. They're saying to keep an open mind. You know, it may surprise you, but this is, it's safe for you to love. This person has, you know, positive intentions. They want a future with you, too. They're not trying to deceive you. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations. It is greatly appreciated. I'm also on TikTok now, so make sure you guys go and follow me there. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.